guys for the WBO title. Expect a good clean fight from both of you. They might command some protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. A couple of weeks ago, we saw what a, when Nate Campbell beat Juan Diaz, what a 36-year-old KG veteran can do when properly motivated against an overconfident young undefeated fighter. The difference here, as I mentioned earlier, is while Juan Diaz, Juan Diaz is an excellent fighter, he's not a puncher. Katsidis is a puncher and therefore remains dangerous all 12 rounds. Casamayor can't wait to get started. John Shirley awaits the bell. We're underway. Casamayor and Katsidis. Early on in this fight, Casamayor's got all the experience. We've documented that. Good left hand is down. Bell's got CDs. His legs look a little bit uh, shaky still. Maybe yeah. from that shot once he was on the ground. Well, it looked more like a flash knockdown. Stop! You know, when you Stop. get knocked down like that in the first round, it's always like a little flash knockdown, something you're unex unexpected. He walked right into that left hand from Casamayor. Well, something we hadn't mentioned. Cut oh. it down. Those cut CDs again. And let me tell you, that was right on the chin. I don't know if he's going to be able to recover from this one. There is no three knockdown rule. Got CDs has been down twice here in the first minute. It, it, it's the southpaw stance that's giving him trouble right now. He can't see that straight left hand coming for whatever reason. That's why it's always important to spar against left and south paws because you know when you're when you're in the Stop. ring, you're Stop. used to orthodox boxers and you're used to slip in a certain way. But if you slip in that same way, you're, you're slipping yourself into a south paw's left hand. Blistering start for Casamayor. Knocking down Katsidis twice here in the first with straight left hands. I know Casitas was, you know, he was prepared for this for this fight. He was looking forward to it. He was very eager to get into the ring, but as you mentioned earlier, Lennox, it's a properly motivated Casamayor this time, as opposed to the last time out where he was right. kind of right. buried on the undercard of a pay-per-view fight against a less than glittery name. Here he's the main event against an undefeated action fighter. And he is properly motivated, Lennox, and relying on that experience. Lennox, I was going to ask you, how does a young guy who's stepping up in class deal with the first round nerves? I'm sure you weren't going to say getting knocked down twice. Well, you can either get knocked down twice and come back from it, or get knocked down twice and get deflated from it. Now we're going to have to see if Casitas can, can actually come back from this. But he's still Stop. putting on the pressure. He wants to, he wants, he's pushing this fight. Listen to, listen to me. Don't complain. Hey, now. Not listening to the break instructions. Cassidy's trying Stop. to jump in with the right hand. Cassidy's is running in straight forward. This is why he got caught with his two right hands. And he's still making that same mistake. And he walked into both left hands here in the first round and got dropped twice. Now that's the face of an action hero. That's all right. Bloody. Good. Kick him out. You clean the out there. Good, good. Okay, suck him up. Miguel will do his thing, eh? Give me another breath. All right. All right. Good. Good. Okay, now listen. And here we see Casitas running in and getting caught with a good left hook. Same again, same punch. Now, well, here's the second knockdown, Lennox. Again, a left hand. He ducks no. the same no. way a southpaw throws his left hand, and you know, these are mistakes that orthodox boxers make when they box a southpaw. Round number two. Let's see if Katsidis could make the adjustment. Look, there, there's no Arturo Gatti without the, the times that Gatti was down and hurt in fights. And this is why Katsidis is compared to Gatti. 
because he is vulnerable and he does have the will to come back. Coming back against a great fighter, even if he is an older one, though that remains to be seen. Stop! Don't do that. Uh, you just lobbed a 13th question onto this 12 round question that we had going into this fight. Australian fans here to support Pet CD start a chant of Michael trying to get him going a little bit. Stop, stop, stop. Go get Vegas, go get Vegas. There's the left hand again from Casamayor. that had over 80 amateur fights. He made the Olympics. Casamayor off balance there. I don't think he was hurt. I think he was just off balance. He made the Olympics in 2000. You'd think that he, oh, it was a low blow. And you'd think he'd see some southpaws before. Well, yeah, I mean, you can never really get used to southpaws because you don't see too much of them. This just isn't any old southpaw. You know, how many southpaws of the last decade or two have been better than Casamayor? This is what I'm talking about, the caginess of Casemiro. You know, he doesn't really have to do too much work. You know, Casides is coming to him, so all he, all he has to do is wait for Casides to come and counterpunch him. Because Casides is always in front of his face. You know, he's, he's, he's a bit over eager right now, and that makes him a bit tense. And, you know, he looks like a tense fighter. He's not relaxed. Casemiro is more relaxed and fluent with his shots, right? And you know, with yeah. two knockdowns in round number one, Casemiro doesn't have to take chances now. No. I mean, yeah, that's a, you know, Casamayor has stunk a few fights out, but he's also been involved in some very good action fights, a little bit underrated in terms of the level of action he produces. But here, you're right, Bob. He has a big lead on the scorecards already. He can tie up Katsidis anytime he feels threatened. Katsidis threw a right, Casamayor answered with a left. As he does just there. Plus, Casamayor knows he can hurt Katsidis with any punch, especially that left hand. Casidis is saying he doesn't want to show Casemiro no respect, and you know that, that no respect got him knocked down twice. Hey! The left hand of Casemiro, and that goes at Katsidis a little, getting in the head of the younger Katsidis. Good, good. Through the middle, through the middle. This is an easy fight, but look, listen to me. He's not fast. Throw your jab. It's all good. Oh yes, Casimir getting getting hit with a right and coming back with a left hand on Casides. And then kind of taunting Katsidis at the end of the round. Remember Katsidis last fight against Cesar Amensat back in July. Badly cut in that fight as well. A 12 round decision victory. Sort of get into a better flow. Because right now, Casamayor is dictating the turn. Well, he hasn't thrown the jab yet. In order to get in, he's trying to get in, but he's got to throw the jab to get in. He's just trying to, you know, wave his way in and, and rough his way in, but it's difficult against a slick boxer like Casamayor. To illustrate your point, according to CompuBox, through the first two and a half rounds, he's three of 16 with his jab. Katsini said against Amansat in his last fight where he was cut and he was getting hit a bit. He said he had to turn it into a kind of a wild, ugly, brawling, brawling kind of fight. I don't know if ugly is the right word, but not a very technical fight at any rate. He thought that was in his best interest, and in fact, he wound up winning by knockout. Is that in his best interest here, Lennox? 
He seems to be drawing a little more this round and maybe disrupting Casemiro's rhythm a bit. Well, you know, this is his style of fight, and uh, it's not a pretty style, but, you know, only on certain fighters is it, it can be effective. Against a slick guy like Casemiro, it's, it's, it's difficult to be effective because, you know, he's always moving and giving you different angles. He's not going to be there to receive any shots. He hasn't been hit any shots, really, uh, since this fight. And he was able to get Amonsad turned into what he wanted to because Amonsad allowed him to. Casemiro is a whole different level. Good left hand by Casemiro. Casides has landed some effective punches in this round for the first time. Effective punches, but to this point, Max is enough to be winning the round. They're holding, man, They're holding. I don't think Katsidi's plans on winning a decision here. A point well taken. Cassidy's is saying he doesn't want to let up on the pressure. He wants to keep this pressure for the whole three minutes of this fight. Every second, looking for that opportunity. And of round three. Much better, mate. Much better. Suck him up now. Relax while you've got the time to enjoy the rest, eh? Want a sip? Yep. Righto, the first three quarters of it, nice. Then you went off on the top a bit, okay? Yeah. I want you to stick with the same again for me. Yeah. Give me another breath. Okay, you feel his power starting to die out there a bit? Yeah. Okay, the only time he's catching you is yeah. when you hunt the top and he's catching you with the shot. But if you close it up... Okay, you down the chance. Down the chance. Down Everything's good. Everything's perfect. Up the middle. Well, Casemiro dropping Michael Katsidis twice in round number one. As we begin round number four, let's check in with our unofficial <laughs> ringside scorer, Harold Lundin. Okay, Bob. Two rounds to one. 29, 26. Joel Casemiro. You know the old man is boxing really nicely. He's got to get a 10-7 round for those two knockdowns in round one. He, he's boxing one in round two. I think Katsini's got to him in round three. Got to tell you an interesting quick story. Um, Armando Garcia, the chairman of the California State Athletic Commission, made Joel Casemiro shave yesterday when Katsini's people said his beard was too long and they said uh, Casemiro comes in with his head and he possibly could cut Katsini's with the beard. A little grooming advice. For Casamayor. In fact, Casamayor has a, a deserved reputation for using a bag full of tricks, read a dirty fighter. But it's Katsidis who's been using his head a little bit and uh, hitting on the break and roughhousing at least as much as Casamayor, who did hit Katsidis when he was down in the first round. Right on the inside by Katsidis. Like for a veteran like Casemiro, as Casemiro shoots the left to the body, Katsidis comes back. Casemiro a little low with that left hand. There's a combination that staggers Casemiro. Casemiro is hurt. A two-punch combination, right hand from Katsidis. Right to the chin. Right hand again by Katsidis. Plenty of time to go in the round. Right hand to the chest by Katsidis. They exchange crosses. Casamayor is in some trouble with one minute to go. Stop! Stop! And yet Casamayor is also 
Abdul throwing some dangerous shots here. Go, go. Casemiro trying to tie up Katsinis. Right hand by Katsinis. Casemiro shoots a left, shoots a left again. Tremendous action here in the fourth. Well, Casemiro is really letting it hang loose. He's a bit, he's a bit weary right now, a bit tired. He's doing the right thing. As Cassidis is coming in, he's throwing a combination, then holding him, or then tying him up. Watch it for a low blow. And you can see why the comparisons are made to Arturo Gatti. Casemiro dropped twice early in the first round. Casemiro, late punch there. Katsidis comes storming back to hurt Casamayor here in the fourth. Let's go. Are you good? Yes. And you see Cassidy's hurting Casamona with a right hand, then a hook, and then a right hand. Casamona is a bit hurt right there. There's that right hand, left hook, right hand again. Swelling into the right eye of Katsidis as we begin round five. Scheduled for 12. Katsidis down twice in round one. He hurt Casamayor in the floor. It's interesting because Casamayor did Stop. some good work right. even after he got hurt, though. Enough to not make that one of those dominant rounds where even though there's not a knockdown, you'd say 10-8 Katsidis. Well, he went for the money punch, the punch that's always been working for him, which is that left hand. Is left it mean that, is it mean that it's a look like he's getting a little wider with some of his punches? He is, he's, he's getting a bit tired, and this is what happens. Uh, as you go through a fight, your punches get a bit wider as you get a little tired. Right. You know, I, I was comparing him to Gatti, to Arturo Gatti Katsidis. But unlike Gatti, who would start fights trying to box, and then wind up brawling if the boxing wasn't working. Katsidis is pure brawl. Katsidis right at you. Landed a good right hand in that sequence. And his defense is part of his attack. In other words, when Gotti would play defense, there was a disconnect. Defense, 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 then offense. With Katsidis, he has to try to avoid punches on his way in because he's always coming in. That time he had the right glove up and he picked off the left from Casamayor. And I, I did notice that he's made an adjustment by keeping his right hand a bit higher because he knows that Casamayor's money punches that left hook. Nice subtle adjustment by Katsidis. Break. Break. In the last round, Katsidis did some good work to the body too against the 36 year old. He missed that right hand. He got the right hand back in position to defend. So all Casemiro has to do is throw his punches because the seed is right in front of his face. And what Casemiro needs to do is, you know, take a step to the side, always showing him angles. Don't back up straight to the ropes because that makes it easy for Casidis. He needs to take that step to the left or to the right and counter punch. Here he goes again, backing up, backing up. There's that step to the left. That's what he needs to do. You know, in a fight that okay, looked stop, as though Katsidis was just going to be outclassed, the momentum has shifted here. And while the outcome is still very much in doubt, in terms of what's, who's going to really win this fight, Low blow, 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 blow retaliated. Give him up. Go. The outcome is still very much up in the air, but the momentum has certainly shifted. Good left hand on the inside by Katsidis to the body. Break, 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 Casemiro break, break. doesn't like those body shots. This is what hurt him the last time because he kept, he dropped his hands and allowed Casidis to throw that left hook, right hand, and catch him on the chin. 
end of round number five. A lot of action so far between Michael Katsidis and Yoel Casamayor. Speaking of action, you do not want to miss the rebroadcast. Juan Manuel Marquez and Manny Pacquiao as they squared off in the ring last Saturday night. The rematch after their controversial draw a couple of years ago. Wow, what flow in this fight. Back and forth they went. Pacquiao using those long arms. Manuel Marquez digging in. They traded big shots. Marquez went down in the fight. Both were bloodied, but they fought through it. You do not want to miss the rebroadcast. Coming up on HBO's Boxing After Dark. We begin round number six. In the last round, Casamayor threw only 42 punches, according to Copybox, his lowest punch output so far in the fight. And you see, even when Casamayor pushes Katsidis back, tries to walk him back, lands a punch to drive him back, Katsidis is right back in his chest. And Katsidis has a lot of pressure. He's given Casamayor a lot of pressure in this fight. And pressure really can break a, 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 a boxer, especially if he's unprepared and he's, he wants he wants to do something. His body's not really adjusting to that. You see, this unrelentless with his pressure. Takes a step back and he's back in on it. Going into this fight, I, I didn't want to say it, but it's there are parallels here. He's fighting for the lightweight championship here, Katsidis, as a crude brawler who's Listen perceived as per no, no, perhaps no, no, no. not say break. experienced enough for the KG champion. So was Rocky Marciano when he fought Jersey Joe Walcott for the heavyweight championship. Marciano was dropped early in that fight, and he came back to knock Walcott out in the 13th round. We only go 12 nowadays. But if there's anyone who's capable of scoring a dramatic come-from-behind knock knockout of a guy like Casamayor, it's Michael Katsidis. Katsidis dropped in round number one, not once, but twice from left hand from Casamayor. Hand on the inside. Left hook. Casamayor, who many believe is the linear lightweight champion based on who beat who, who beat who. Keeping track of belts is impossible. Right. The sanctioning bodies have no real legitimate authority to call anyone champion. Um, they've squandered whatever legitimacy they've had. Gets in the ring within the 10-second framework. Katsidis jumps right back on him. Left hand by Katsidis. Shoots a right hand to the head. Casamayor trying to back away. Katsidis trying to land the home run. He's going to run out of time. Late shot there by Katsidis. Let's take a look at the knockdown. And here it is. Right to the body. It's a left to the body. Then a left hook. Knocked him off balance. And then a broad of punches. It was the body shot. It, it was, was the body, body shot, shot that, that really, collapsed Yeah, him. that really opened it up. Like I said, Casemiro doesn't like that body shot. That, that crippled him for a second. As you can see, he bends down low and he's waving in with his head. And it's, he got knocked off balance. Still suffering from that body shot. He got knocked down. 
Let's check in with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. <laughs> okay, Bob. Four rounds oh. to two. Sorry, Harold, but could see these unsportsmanlike there. Finish, please, Harold. <laughs> okay. Four rounds to two. 56, 55. Michael can't see these. Bob, he's on a four-round winning streak. He's won the last four rounds in a row with that body punching. One quick thing. If you go through the ropes and you're on the apron, you got 10 seconds to get back. If you go off the apron onto the floor, you got 20 seconds to go back. Bob. All right, Harold. You know, it's interesting. The way this is going, I don't see it going to the decision, but... That round number three is an interesting round on the scorecard because it was, depending on what you like, that's one of the swing rounds that you'll find in fights. I think you're right, Bob. I don't think this one's going the distance. Casamayor dropped Katsidis twice in round one, controlled round number two. It's been a different story since. See, this is what Casamayor needs to do. He needs to move, move and throw punches. Oh, beats a right hand. Fires back with Casamayor. Nice. Is he moving in too many straight lines, though, where Katsidis can get him even when he moves away? No, once he moves to a side, he's got to throw punches. Because Katsidis is giving you some unrelentless power. He's just, he's just on you every second. He's not letting up. Yeah, I, I called at the top of the show, Katsidis a good young fighter against Casamayor, the great or once great old fighter. Once in a while, a guy comes along who really should only be good, but turns out great. And Katsidis has not yet done anything in his young career to disqualify himself from that category. Stop. You know, when you brought up the Gaddy to him during the meetings, he said, hey, it's an honor, but I got to prove it in the ring. Nice to hear it, but I have to prove it in the ring. Gaddy was a very good fighter, good fighter. I, you know, Rocky Marciano was a great fighter. And uh, Katsidis has not yet eliminated himself from Good that possibility. Casamayor. He's taking some excellent shots from Casamayor throughout the fight. He got up, right. dusted himself off against a motivated, great old fighter, and he is carrying this fight since the early, early rounds. We heard Casamayor in the fourth, dropped him in the sixth. Break, 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 break. And there's, there's pressure, and then there's pressure. The level of pressure Katsidis is exerting is really debilitating. Asamayor holds on at the end of the seventh. Let's go, four more rounds. Spin. The old Casamayor dropping Michael Katsidis twice in round number one. Casamayor hurt in the fourth, dropped in the sixth. Pressure continues from Katsidis. Katsidis is doing this well against Casamayor. He's still so early in his career, so crude. Doesn't really get low enough Stop. to avoid a lot of punches. Still very easy to hit. He can be dropped, he can be hurt, he can be cut. We've seen it all in this fight alone. And yet, there he is, forcing the action, landing bombs. Stop. Nice, we did see him make that slight adjustment, though, keeping the right hand up, try to pick off some of those laps. And 
if you notice, he's still coming forward, still coming forward. I would love him to throw a little more jabs on his way in. But he realizes Casting Hurt doesn't like those body shots, so he's, he's trying to work to the body. Illustrate that point. Casting Hurt is 17 of 62 in the fight with the jabs. Casting 51 of 201. Jabs. And again, what's on the line here is no sanctioning body belt. Forget them. This is for the lineal, true lightweight championship. Casamayor is the man who beat the man. Though Nate Campbell's upset win over Juan Diaz a couple weeks ago makes him, in many people's view, the number one guy in the division. Best fighter in the division is not always the champion. In boxing, in boxing history, the title's been passed usually in a lineal way, meaning from one guy to the next guy who beats him. Only in modern boxing history especially has sanctioning body corruption and stripping of belts resulted in the confusion we now have. So let's make it simple. The championship of the world. Pressing doing a better job this round of moving, staying away from, you see this is unrelentless pressure. As you mentioned, Lynx has been able to punch off some of that movement. See, he's just kind of runs right back at him. Missed with the left hand, flicks out a right. Those two rounds, Casamaro was in complete control. Chopping left from Pipsidis. on his back. Thanks, Luke. Bye. No water. No water. Sit. Read. Read to your mouth, mate. Hey, don't let him get his tail up now, all right? I want you to stay on top of this. Because you go on, it's starting to get a bit tough. Start to think who you are and where you want to go out of this, all right? I need you to lift a little bit. We're not with going madness, but I want you to lift up a bit. You're doing everything right. You can... Jab, jab. Sube la guardia. La guardia arriba. La guardia arriba tiene que subirla. ¿Ok? Y el movimiento. Hay que trabajar fuerte. Movement, movement, movement. Sigue tu ritmo. Sigue tu ritmo. Turn the copy box numbers in the last round, round eight. The first round. Since the third, where Casimir actually outlanded Katsidis. It was 18 to 7 and connects. Left hand by Katsidis to start the round. And as uh, we were saying a few rounds ago, this one's not going the distance. Here we find ourselves in the ninth. Maybe it will. Maybe it will go the distance. Oh, we're going to oh. take a point away for a low blow. Oh. I thought he should have gave him a warning first. You gotta give a guy a warning. But he has given each man warning. Yeah, yeah but you know what? Ball. Especially a cagey old fighter like Casamayor, if he's gonna hit you low intentionally, he'll do it where the referee can't see. That was in clear view of the ref, and so I, I find it hard to believe it was intentional. Well, what he did was he put his head down and threw an uppercut, but he wasn't looking and seeing where the uppercut was gonna land. He just felt that uh, Casillas was gonna be in front of him for that uppercut. Casimar wants to hit you low. He'll wait till the referee's on the far side, doesn't have a view, and with the hand that's farthest from the ref, with, his, with the ref's vision obscured, he'll hit, he'll hit low with the far hand. And I wouldn't really call that a hit. I would call it a tap. He got tapped low. That wasn't a tap on Katsidi's jaw right there. Good left hand by Casimar. Katsidi steps in with a combination. Casimar dips away. Casamayor has seemed to have made an adjustment in the last several rounds to, to mitigate some of what uh, Katsidis was able to do successfully in the early middle rounds. And you know what that was? He started moving, getting on his toes, being cagey, using his experience. This is where his experience is going to definitely come in. Don't you find, have you ever found during the course of a fight where your legs come back? Well, you know, Different people reach different heights at certain times in, 
in a fight. Like for me, I was a late comer. I started off slow, but ended strong. And this may be the result in uh, Casimiro's corner. He may do the same thing. He may start off slow, or well, start off fast, then have a little roll in the fight, and then finish strong. Like the knocking to a wall. <laughs> Casamayor's managed to somewhat change the momentum in the last several rounds of this fight. Stop. Can Katsidis Gloria change Tengas. it back Gloria again? Gloria Tengas. Right hand from Katsidis. Not that Casamayor has necessarily won these rounds, but his situation doesn't seem as desperate as it did three or four rounds ago. Samara's found that left hand again. Be able to find the mark. End of nine. Relax. What round have we got, Lupe? Eleven. Lupe? Eleven. 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 Eight. In the ninth. In the ninth, no, coming up. Shush. Bruce. And Bree. Bruce. Give me that one. Hey, mate. Now, listen. Stay with me. And let's take a look at that low blow. It's, it, you know, it just seemed like Casimiro's head was really low. He didn't pick up his head before he threw the uppercut, and he was just too low for that uppercut. Will the low blow, Casemiro loses a point, which you, know, you talk about some swing rounds. That could be a huge factor in this fight. Yeah, given the stakes, seems an unnecessary... Oh! Katsini's oh! got caught! And let me tell you, he got caught coming if in. He can he get shot. his legs back in the next few seconds, guys? That's what this fighter's... Referee's giving him a lot of time. Oh, he's thinking about this. Can't get CDs, get his legs back. He got dropped twice in the first, then here, and he's trying to get it and stop. John Shirley steps in and stops it. What a shocking turn of events when it looked by the fourth or fifth round that Katsidis was beating the fight out of Casamayor. That the script was being written, the young new fighter on the scene was going to emerge as lightweight champion for the old lion to pull off that kind of knockout. And let me tell was you, incredible. Casidis helped himself get knocked out. He ran into a shot and ran onto Casemiro's left hand and got knocked out that way. And Lennox, that's what he did in rounds one and two, and he avoided that mistake, but he made that mistake. In round 10. You know, he was eager. He's like an over-eager beaver, and this type of over-eager beaver gets you in trouble. He told us patience would be the key, but he lost his patience. Right. You cannot run in with your hands down. Guys, by the fourth or fifth round, I'm sorry, Katsidis, to me, had all the look of a fighter of destiny. That he was destined to overcome these early obstacles and go on and win the way he was hurting Casamayor. But... Let's take a look. Here it is. He comes running in, here he comes. Boom, he gets caught right on the jaw. I didn't even see that punch coming. He was focused more on landing his own punches than to, to than concentrating on defense. Here's another look from a different angle. It was that left hook, that same sweet punch, that honey punch that knocked down Casitas in the first couple rounds. And this is where the referee really had to step in and stop the fight. There's a good short right hand in there by Casemiro right on the chin. I don't know about that stoppage, guys. I don't think it was a bad stoppage. I, I wouldn't second guess the referee and say it was bad, but I'm not sure that he was unable to continue. But Max, you know, looking at the face as you get a fist bump from Casemiro. I know. What do you do when a fighter gives you his glove? I guess you got to give him, a, you gotta give him your hand, right? You can't, you can't leave him hanging. But you looking, can't leave him hanging. Looking at the face of Katsidis after the fight was stopped. Yeah. He looked hurt. Yes, he did. He looked hurt, so I cannot disagree with John Shirley. I, I, do not, I would not criticize the referee, 
it's there's a difference between saying if I were the ref, I may not have stopped that, and saying that the ref had a bad stoppage. That was not a bad stoppage. It's a judgment call. But if you were the if you were the judge or ref, yeah. would you stop it? I would not have, but maybe I would, I would be wrong. I would have stopped it. I think okay, I, I think, I think it. many people would have. All right, Let official time of the stoppage. Here's Bruce Let Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Shirley has called a stop to this contest at 30 seconds of round number 10. Declaring the winner by knockout, and now the new WBO Interim Lightweight Champion of the World, and still the Ring Magazine Lightweight Champion of the World, Joel.